Hi, welcome back to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher, where it's all about science. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. Today you're going to be experiencing with me doing an experiment on paper towels. We're talking about variables. Variable is something that can vary during an experiment. A variable is what affects the experiment when you're doing it. And there are three types of variables. One is called the independent variable. An independent variable is actually what we're testing and it can change throughout the experiment. For example, today we're doing a paper towel experiment and we have two variables. We have paper towel one and paper towel two. I could add another paper towel that's different from these two and it could be paper towel three. So this is part of the experiment that we're testing to see how they are different. The next variable is called a control variable. A control variable are the things that are going to stay the same when you're doing your experiment. For instance, today during our experiment, we're going to use a timer of 30 seconds. This is going to stay the same each time we test our paper towels. The other thing that we're going to keep the same is going to be the amount of water. We don't want to change the amount of water. We're using 50 milliliters of water. One, I've already poured in the pan. And then when we test uh, paper towel two, we're going to put 50 milliliters in the pan again. So this time, we want it to stay the same. Our third variable is called the dependent variable. The dependent variable is going to be what we measure in the end. It is going to help us determine our results. Which paper towel absorbed the most water? Paper towel one or paper towel two? So our independent variable, it is going to uh, measure the results at the end. All right, so let's get started on this experiment testing out which paper towel holds or absorbs the most water? If you want to be part of this experiment, all you need are two different types of paper towels. Two different brands, actually. This brand is a Sam's Club brand, and this brand is the Dollar General brand. Then you're going to decide how much water you want to test to see which paper towel absorbs the most. And so you're going to have your pan of water. You need a measuring cup so that you measure the water the exact same. And you're going to need some type of timer. I'm going to use my phone. All right, get your materials together and we're going to get started. Let's get started with our experiment. We have paper towel one and paper towel two. Paper towel one is from Dollar General, the Dollar General brand. Paper towel two is the Sam's Club brand. And you can't feel this, but one does feel a little bit thicker, but does that mean it will absorb more? We will find out. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take paper towel one. We pour it into the pan, 250 milliliters of water. And we're going to put the paper towel in for 30 seconds to see how much water is absorbed. I'm going to submerge it and start my timer. Once it's through being timed for 30 seconds, that's what we want to time it for, I'm going to lift it and let it drip for 30 seconds. So remember, we want to do the same thing with our controlled variables. Paper towel the same size and we time it the same way. All right, let's lift and start. Not going to squeeze it or anything, just going to let it simply drip. Mm -hmm. 
I had stopped it. Okay. All right. So let's put this to the side. Let's take our cylinder, and it is marked 250. We're going to pour the remaining water into our cylinder. We want to measure how much water is left. Okay, so according to this, so we have 200, 225, 230, 240. So 240, all right? I'm sorry, not 240. This would be 225. So about 225, 225, because that would get us to 250 up here. So 225, all right? So I'm going to leave this here. So you would make a note on your chart. Now we're going to pour in, make sure it's 250, it is, of water. And we're going to test number two. So the first one was 225. Let's get our timer ready. Submerge and start. Which paper towel will absorb the most? So we're still working with our control. Now remember, our independent, our independent variables and dependent variables we're going to talk about again. Remember, we're going to lift it once this stops. All right, lift and start. So it's good to work with the partner. So one can lift and one can start the timer. We want it to drip for 30 seconds. And another suggestion is you can test three different paper towels. Right. So we're going to take this water and pour it back into our measuring cup. And now let's see. We said 225. Let's see if it's the same or pretty close. If it absorbed more, will it have less or more in here? Oh, okay. So we have 205. So it has less. So that means paper towel two, the Sam's Club, absorbed more water. Why is that important? Because when someone is out purchasing paper towels and they want a paper towel that absorbs a lot of water when they're cleaning, they want to get the towel, paper towel that absorbs the most. I will tell you, when you're conducting this experiment, to do three trials, that means you want to do it three times and then you want to get your average of the amount of water for each one so that you can really have a clear test uh, and then your, uh, you have your results that really show a true picture instead of doing it just one time like I'm doing it. During our paper towel experiment, we had our independent variables, the paper towels. The paper towels were different and they varied and this is what our experiment was about. Which paper towel would absorb the most water? And we found out. When we found out our results, that was our independent variable. The independent variable measured the amount of water that was left in the pan for both paper towels. And we found out that the Sam's Club paper towel absorbed more water because there was less water left into the container. Then we had our controlled variables. The control variable was our timer. We timed each paper towel 30 seconds in the water and 30 seconds dripping. And our other control variable was the amount of water we poured in the pan, which was 250 milliliters. 
All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed learning about variables and you will continue to do experiments at home, at school, and test out to find out how things are measured and what the results can be depending on the variables. Thank you for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you next time on my videos. Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Have a wonderful day friends.